Hey, what's good, YouTube? So today I'm going to be talking about how when you do something that is against your morals and against the moral code that you use to see the world, then essentially it's not the other person that suffers in the end, but it's you. So let me tell you what I mean about that. When, let's say you cheat on your girlfriend, you cheat on your boyfriend, you cheat on your significant other, and to you, initially you might think, oh, like, I, I did her dirty, like, oh, I'm going to just not say anything, you know, I'm going I'm to not get caught. But then even that changes your behavior, because now you're hyper-conscious about not coming off in a certain way. Uh, it just tweaks your mind to where when you look in the mirror, you don't have that self-respect. You injured your self-esteem because you did something that went against your moral code. It went against your morals. So cheating is an example. Stealing is an example. Like I got some people who I used to be close with. Uh, the one person comes to mind, he stole from me. And I'm very confident that he's having trouble having self-respect. Because how can you respect yourself stealing from someone who wanted nothing but the best for you? So to me, I don't even need to seek justice. I don't need to seek some sort of retribution or revenge because I know that their own soul is tainted. You know, they could talk to God, they could seek forgiveness, but they damned themselves. They're the type of person who would steal something from someone who only had love for them and wanted the best for them and was sacrificed to see them succeed. They screwed that person over. So that's the same thing with the relationship. Oh, you cheat on your girlfriend and then the next day, she make you a nice lunch, and then you feel bad, so you're all quiet. You're like, yeah, thank you. And then she's like, what, you don't like the food? Like, I, I made this food because I know you like it. And then you're like, damn. You know, no, you know, it's just something happened at work or whatever. You make up some lie. But really, you destroyed your relationship. Only way to come back from that is to be honest. Or you just don't care. You just turn cold. Turn to a, a cold person. And just hide from that emotional vulnerability. So now you have to go down a whole different career trajectory. Or a whole different life trajectory. Because of that mistake. Now this happens in business, in the workplace. You know, you don't work that hard. You think you should get a promotion. But you know you don't deserve it. So you become one of those who just complains about how the boss is holding you down and shit. Well, maybe you holding the boss down. You ever think about that? Oh, he just supposed to donate money to you because you signed a document? Oh, I signed a document. I press, I press, uh, I clocked in. He should give me money. No, no. <laughs> You can't go against your own moral code. And that's why it's very important to put yourself on the other side of things. For example, okay, you're about to cheat on your girlfriend. Okay, imagine your girlfriend cheat on you. Oh, now you don't want to cheat on her. Okay. Imagine you want to get more pay from your boss. If you were your boss, would you pay you more? Oh, you know, maybe you should step up your work a little bit, you know? So these are the things we got to practice more and understand. But back to the main topic, just to close out this video, it's a quick video. Me and a few guys at the work were talking about this and I thought it'd be a good topic. You are the person you hurt when you hurt other people too. And when you help other people, at certain times, when you're not self-sabotaging, you actually help yourself. 
So this is a reversible law. And at the core of it, it's your self-esteem that you're either preserving, you're either reinforcing and uh, enhancing, or you're degrading and demolishing. So keep that in mind. You know, that's why a lot of people who do bad shit, they'll kind of wear it like a badge of pride. Because if you sit down and be like, dude, you dumb as hell. You really think that's something to be proud of? Like, you think the people who raised you raised you to do that? Like, what if someone did that to the people that raised you? Would you still feel like they did such a good thing? They, they'd be quiet real quick. And they get mad at you because you robbed them of their illusion. And they sit with, uh, with their moral code, obviously compromised. So keep that in mind. Whenever you're in a position of strength and someone else is in a weak position, always remember, you could very, very easily, and it's very likely, that one day at a moment, you will be in that same weak position and there's going to be someone strong who you're subject to. And on that day, karma may pay a visit. God may come around the corner and be like, oh, remember that? Three years ago you did this? Or, oh, remember? You thought you were so cool, so sick, and you did them dirty. Well, now you need some help, get out of here. Boom, karma smack. And all you had to do was just not be a meanie, you know? Just had to be someone respectful. Couldn't do that. It's all just one big circle, one big spiral. So why would you corrupt it? Come on now.